Hey guys, this is Brian here from Mana Beast, along with my new compadre. Morgan from Mana Beast. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It is official, as you've probably heard by this point. Why is he pointing at the camera? He's, it's like he heard he, me. He did. He was like, is that Morgan? Oh my gosh. Morgan's, yeah. Yeah, guys, we, Morgan's here. You guys can it's, play your game. Yeah, game. Oh, celebrity God. in the house. Just saying. Uh, All right, so we have a Namekian versus Namekian matchup today. Is that not the case? That is the case here, yes. And uh, we're going to do a little commentary here, so I know he's already done a move here. Yeah, he played uh, ball three. Yep, played like ball three. Looks like he raised three. his anger. Drew three cards. I saw a weighted clothing in that hand. Oh, that's See, that's I see sexy. a confrontation in an overtime. That would be an interesting hand to declare with. I'm not... Okay, good call. Oh, interesting. He redrew the weighted... Oh, no, yeah, he held on to the weighted clothing. The weighted clothing. Discarded I, the overtime. I almost would have thought it would have been a good hand to go in with. That's a good three cards to go in with. I wouldn't have gone in with that weighted clothing in my hand. That's a dead card walking yeah. into combat. I mean, he did rejuve the confrontation, so again, well, I'm just saying not... the overtime. The overtime would have been he could have picked anything, but yeah, that, that's, it's always risky going in first combat. Unless he runs, uh, I believe it's is it? No, it's not right throw. There's a Namekian card that allows you to uh, draw the top card of your discard pile. Uh, oh, he's going into combat. Okay. Oh, combat. What do we got? Let's see, I see a finger laser. Uh, it looks like a, a double strike blow on Tom's side. Oh, yep, Namekian sidekick. That's what it is. Yep. Draw the do top card of your discard pile if it hits. Wow. Okay, so I see what he's doing there. He's setting it up to try to fetch out Namekian overtime. Okay. That's absolutely correct. That's and that's really actually a really play. smart move. That's actually a similar move that any red player would do, always knowing what they rejuve in case they can draw it with left bolt. There's many times that I've uh, drawn a three-card hand, something I wanted with left bolt and something I didn't care about, and rejuve the wow, and okay, that so hits. That hits, Ooh. man. Draws that over time. Oh, and that onslaught. Is the onslaught, which not as effective without the Dragon Balls, but still, you know. Ooh, he. Did that's he a surprising move. It's only for huh. three, and he and he. Uh, is, is it three or four? Is onslaught three or four? Uh, it's for uh, three, for three, and then of course he just did uh, Piccolo's level one power. Yep. Did the rejuvenation. I would not have uh, used endurance well. on that knee block because when you rejuvenate that knee block, you get an extra anger off of that, and that's great yeah. walking towards an MPPV. Uh, that's palm shots. No, Which, that's that's double strike. That's double strike. I'm sorry, that's double strike. That yes. is double strike. And there, there's another player enduring his knee blocks. I don't understand that personally. For such small damage, you can take that extra hit. You're Namekian. You can rejuvenate yeah, that. exactly. You can get that extra anger. I don't understand the point of enduring a knee block. Uh, I, yeah, like, you, you really want that knee block for that anger gain. Uh, you know, when you're using other cards to, to selectively. Like right here, you know, here's a perfect case where that knee block would have come in handy had absolutely. he picked a block or an attack which would have let him rejuve. Okay, interesting. That's uh, okay. targeted. Oh, did he just discard? Or is that his banish? Uh... If he looks... just discarded overtime. Uh, overtime is definitely banished. Yeah, overtime is banished. Which again is a. Uh, it a looks very... like it's the same pile as his knee block, so I, I'm, I'm assuming that's assuming his banished. That pile. Banish. Without uh, distinctive zones, it's a little hard to tell sometimes. Yeah. That is a very key thing as people are playing here. Okay, so we got a devastating blow. Okay, that is his banished zone because he did play that devastating blow and banished everything in there essentially. Ooh, Namekian Wish. That's. That's going to hurt if you can't get that back. Oh, and he uh, maximum wills. Wow. That's wow. For six. And he didn't hit a single endurance in that. That's a crit right there. He didn't mill anything to lower his opponent's anger, though, which I find interesting. Well, because he didn't. If you see, he doesn't have any. I don't think he has any anger over there. Looks like he has one or two to me on that anger. So, oh, wait. Nope. I'm sorry. That's that's the handle. I'm just yeah. an idiot. You're fine. You're right. Okay, and this is uh, targeted that strike? That is, yes. Of course, he doesn't have a Dragon Ball, so he's just using it for the... And another no, he does one. have a yeah. Dragon Ball. If you look oh, at the does, corner, he does. he's got sure Ball right. 3. He does, he does. So he's going to wow. use Ball 3. Uh-huh. In an anger. Draw 3. Wow. See, that's a confrontation. That's uh, an energy guard and a hybrid defense. Uh-huh. So he's got an Omni energy and a... 
Huh, getting rid of... Getting rid of the confrontation and the, um, and the uh, energy guard. Yeah, well, I would I would definitely want to hang on... Yeah, the Omni to... Guard is clutch. Oh, yeah, and that, that hybrid defense is going to be helpful. Ooh, another devastating wow. blow. Wow. A little it's pretty hybrid much. defense. <laughs> and he's going to banish before he has a chance to rejuvenate. Oh, he's... Yeah, okay, that was... In his yep, that was the one he took in damage. And he's just going to leave the Namekian <laughs> wish. That is unfortunate. Wow. That it's, was a good move. Good move with a good devastating blow. You know, that's actually a card I'm wondering if I'm going to see more or less of in set two. I think I think it's still I think it's still viable, not only for the anger control, but just for selectively being able to uh to get rid of stuff in there in their discard pile. Okay, so we had him, he he Threw played down, down a visiting yeah. and he passed, which is solid. Um, plays so. down Dragon Radar. That's very helpful. I know some people aren't a fan of Dragon Radar, but as a player against Namekian or Blue, whenever Dragon Radar hits the table, I'm afraid of what they're going to pull out because usually they have a Dragon Ball still in the deck that can just mess my world up. Wow. Okay. So now he has got Ball Two, or uh, pardon me, not Ball Two, uh, Ball Five. That's six. Oh, six. I'm sorry. That's ball six. Yep. Ball he rejuvenated six. ball five. He discarded it and there rejuvenated it. Um, and then milled. Wow. Both Jeez. players mill whenever someone lays down a dragon ball. Yep. Oh, let's see. We have a silencing, another weighted closing. And that looks like a double strike. So. Yep. Is he, is he seriously considering combat with his hand? Okay, good, good. Okay. I think what's scaring him is that visiting the past. That visiting the I don't, past scares me. I don't I, blame him. When your opponent takes that much damage, when well, you see he's got a silencing a vision, on top, I mean, even that by itself is pretty nappy. Well, he's, he's only got to... one drag. They each only have one Dragon Ball, so capturing is not part of the game plan at this point. Right. So he's used way to clothing. Okay. Made him yep. Skip his turn. Yep. He entered, um, and he he didn't power up for weighted clothing. Oh, that is true. Yeah, you're right. Got to remember that extra plus is very key. Absolutely. Yeah. I've had uh, many instances. Now, wait, did um, he... Uh, okay, well, hold on he now. He onslaughted. He onslaughted. I thought that should stay a second time. Or did he already it's try It's if to... you have two Dragon Balls. Ah, two Dragon Balls. He, I see. He should have yeah. Dragon Radared first, but I yeah. think he was trying to avoid a possible capture. I, I can see that, but... Uh, now that Dragon Ball... Wait. Wait a... S huh. It's interesting. Oh. I, see a, I see a crushing slam in his hand. Okay, so now he's using Dragon Radar to go and get... Yeah, this is going to be the interesting play here. What is he going to get? I'm not sure. Ball 5 might be a good call. Oh, he does have uh, Ball 4 to actually be interesting in this. Oh, that would be Destroying a good Destroying those call. two setups would actually be really nice. That would be a good play. He His table's clear, so if it gets captured, it's not the end of the world. Oh, he does get Ball 5. He does, he and does Ball 5 is a solid one, too. It's a solid one, but that Ball 4, man, with those two gone, uh, that, that really He's, slows him down. But He is leaving the table open for his opponent to fusion him later this combat. Yeah. I'd personally gone for a four, but that's just me. That's just me. I, I would have considered it at least. Yeah. But these players are playing very, very quickly and not necessarily calculating every move. Right. Sometimes when you play rather quickly, you're playing in autopilot. Well, these guys, you know, they. I think in the making as well as you play enough that you, kind of, kind of get how. And again, yeah. Uh, Enduring the knee block. That is that is critical critical anger gain. I do not understand why a player would want to endure that on such a small hit. It was only four life cards. You can soak that. Yeah. You're not risking Oh boy, okay. He's confrontation. He's definitely getting rid of that. Yeah. You yeah, always want to get rid of it over time. Yep. Always. What was that? That last one looked like a right throw? Uh, yes. Yes. And right throw is just beautiful because it gains you three anger off of shuffling a Dragon Ball. Which is nice. I've seen some beautiful combinations with right throw and Dragon Radar, and um, uh, oh, Strike. 
So Tom is the first to level two. Now this is, uh, he, of course, the player on the right. That's really clutch because he's already has one attack and now he has a second attack. And now one of those two Dragon Balls is, uh, oh, wow. Yeah, he hit him hard, man. Right throw. Yep, that hit Right him. throw is nasty. Let's see, and what is he holding? I think he has a right throw. Oh, what's he gonna do? Uh, it's really interesting. He yeah, he's pickles level one power raises. Well, anger. he's about to level. Yeah. See, he has a looks like a sidekick and a crushing uh, and a crushing slam. Yep. Yep. Let's see, calculate the damage. Crushing slam will rejuvenate. Now, however, the way two. he's rejuvenating here now is is incorrect I will say you'll notice see that first card or is it okay if he's shuffling he's oh no, wait, no that's, that's right um crushing slam shuffles the top okay. two that's good that's good because now if you're rejuvenating you go one two that second card goes on bottom doesn't go on top because then you're absolutely. you're out of order so there's that's absolutely uh super that's key into making players I've always told that's a key distinction be. to all players yes I have seen many players unintentionally Manipulate their discard pile and their their draws, especially especially for. Whoa, red. he uh, rejuvenated a weighted clothing. He did. He did. He rejuvenated a weighted Ooh, clothing there. That always hurts. He should have should not have done that. Well, now both players are in an interesting uh, place here, both on level two, and so at this point, it's oh wait a second, they. He, he may not have rejuvenated the card he discarded. Okay. Now he's going to use that and go up to... You always have to watch out for that whenever you're playing Piccolo. Wow. Okay, so n this is interesting now. Now he's up to level 3 because I don't... of 2 weight clothings. <sighs> and Piccolo's level 2 power. Done that. I wouldn't have done that because... Wow. And did Tom not use... He did not use silencing. Or not silencing, I'm sorry, fusion. Yeah, fusion or Piccolo's level. Did he use Piccolo's level two? I believe he ran out of cards in hand. Oh, okay, that's what I've done. Okay, I didn't know because I thought... Uh... Interesting. Okay, so, so he right. played ball seven, causing a four-card yeah. mill. Yep, and there was one Dragon Ball in play already, so that it was banished and counted as the mill. And Looks like he has. Hmm. What does he have in his hand? Overtime. That is a good hold card. Yeah. I'm perfectly comfortable playing Namekian, hanging on to an overtime for my opponent to walk in on me. Because that just lets you just tutor your deck to no extent. I wonder if he's considered grabbing that ball four or if he's thinking he might should have considered it because that fusion and that visiting are still on the table. Yeah. Tom's discard pile is getting You're mightier getting by the minute. Wow, that is a hand, man. That, that is a He's got D defense block, overtime, right throw, and forceful block. That that is a declare hand. You go in with that yeah, hand. That's a definite you got the blocks. I mean, but of course, you know, there's visiting the pass, which again, he didn't get rid of earlier. It does, it, it, that does make, oh, wow, not. Oh, why would you pass that turn? Well, he rejuvenated knee block, that's so that's an anger. an anger. But if he had walked in, he had more than enough opportunity re to rejuvenate that knee block. Of course, what does Tom have in his hand? He has a, a crushing and, okay, so we're going to start with. Yep, Tom enters. I mean, it might be smart of Steven to let Tom enter with that visiting on the table. Right. I still haven't seen a time from either player. That is true. Well, I've only seen a confrontation. Okay, so he's going to go for that. You know, over time. And... He mills three. And he searches. He's oh. going to get an Onslaught. That's a good call. Onslaught yeah. is a very good call, especially at level 3. It does some nice damage hurt. And Tom's deck is getting low, so he's going to, he, you know, at this point, he's he's less worried about effect cards and more worried about damage. 
Wow. Okay. So interesting matchup. Curious to see how I see a maximum will in his hand as well. That will hurt on level three if he can hang in at level three yeah. and land that maximum will. Uh -oh. I think he's probably gonna. Oh, yeah, he's taking a lot of stages here. But why isn't he blocking? Is the question. He's got. He's got the energy guard, doesn't he? I'm not sure. He must not have a physical block. He needs those stages. Ooh, no, I see a double strike. I see a maximum will and an energy guard. Wow, that, uh, so, that hurts. He should have walked in with his last hand. It was more physically based. He could have survived the hits easier. He could have gotten up to level four with relative ease and would have been able yeah. to rejuvenate with his level four if it hit. I think throwing that hand away, even with a visiting on the table, was a mistake. Oh, but here we got a uh, targeted... Targeted strike. Yep. So we're going to see if he... Uh, yep, he hits. And uh, let's see what ball Tom is going... Oh, he's counting to see if he gets... All right, so that that's a critical. So he's going to do a critical effect on that. Um, of course... We'll probably still a Dragon Ball. Yeah. I would, too. He's going for ball five, which I find is interesting. And um, uh, targeted strike allows you to choose ball in play, I believe. So he can choose yeah. another ball. Yeah, he's choosing he's choosing ball three. However, he stole ball five with a critical damage effect. And he's using ball three for hit effect. However, he used ball five first. That is technically out of order. Right. And, te and what you would have to do is make sure you're declaring the right thing. I mean, they... Both effects are technically doing the same thing. However, you need to make sure that that card goes to the banner zone first. Then you declare to take the other ball. Of course, you know, this is, you know, one of those things where it's being played amongst uh, friends. But he is using then Piccolo's level three. That if you deal uh, critical, damage. critical damage, you get a Dragon Ball. So that was a three Dragon Ball play, essentially. He three is... Yeah, that is absolutely true. Three Dragon Ball effects, and now he, he grabs ball one, so that way he can hang on to ball five and prevent right. Steven from getting it back, which Plus, is very it's intelligent. The, it's the place effect, too, because it's not being played, it's being placed. So you, you're you going to want to put something in there that will not be able to... You can actually use static effects, like yeah. one or, or uh, six. Which is good. I remember when, uh, when the game first came out... <laughs> P, uh, Namekian players were complaining about place into play, and there's so much Dragon Ball manipulation Ooh, in the style. Crushing, okay. Ooh, crushing slam, two and cards. He's at zero stages. He's at zero stages. Top two into the life deck. Oh, this this he's game. He's also taking hits. Wow. This game could have had a very different result if he had walked in with his hand the previous uh -huh. turn. Yeah, right. Completely agree with you there. Yeah, his defense was it was, was it was superb. optimal for a Namekian deck. He could have stopped the physical, which is what he's getting hit wow, with. Wow! Now another critical, another critical, and he's uh, and, going and, to and he use takes that ball three again. again. Oh my gosh! Oh, I see a time. He's I got see a time. A time. He's yeah. got an onslaught. He's got an overtime. Is, did he just put time on the bottom? I think he I did. think he I think he did, but I think he's gonna try to end this though. I, I don't blame him. I think this is the smart he's, move to make. I, I, I would he's at probably level three do the same shoes. You His know. opponent is weak, he's at level three. He now can onslaught for some painful damage. <sighs> Five. Jeez. Actually it's six. Six uh to yeah, but he endured but man. He's yeah, going onslaught, to level four. Um, I believe is for four come to think of it onslaught is for four piccolo's level three adds two life cards yep yep so he's gonna can't steal a dragon ball but he's gonna form or he's gonna onslaught him again i think oh. he's pretty much just and then him. he's overtiming him and he's probably gonna get another onslaught oh no he's getting another target oh my strike gosh Ooh. that's the good oh call my gosh that is so good another so targeted good. strike He'll probably hit ball. No, no he's uh, okay. He's making the smarter play. Okay, in my opinion. I mean, right now, it, I don't. It know is risky. It is risky. What you might draw with ball three or five. I could see an overtime while you're at level three. 
Or not well, on that Onslaught sorry, is still onslaught. on the field. He, he used that only once. So he played the overtime in the middle of an Onslaught that was there. To get another Onslaught. Right. Which is wow. smart because then this Onslaught will hit the discard pile and then he will Onslaught again to rejuvenate that Onslaught and get it back yep. into his deck. Yep. Wow. That's amazing. And that's exactly what he's doing here. Although he did Although I'm he didn't noticing he's injury. not... I would think he'd be at higher anger than what he is at at this point. Well, he's at level 4 at 2 anger. Well, he is at level 4. Yep, he's at level 4 now. He's smacking him one more time. It's hard to see his MP. Yeah, he, he is at 4. Although, I don't know if he's been doing... There you go, he's lowering anger. Okay. Wow. And then he's fusions. And then he fusions. And he draws... An enraged blast. And he goes up to anger. Does he? Is he going to win by MPPB? Yep. Yeah, uh, and life. Oh my gosh! He in the wins same by hit. Both both uh, MPPB. Both victory conditions simultaneously. And uh, Dragon Ball loop. Wow. That is always a good feeling. I've had that a few times in my red deck, and I love it when that happens. When the hit that angers me out decks them at the same time. It is. Utterly satisfying. That, that, that game changed very quickly. I mean, that game changed from uh, I, Tom. Tom was at a disadvantage in that one I last combat. So well. That last I, combat, uh, I, I turned think, it around. Yeah. I, I believe that there were two serious misplays on Steven's part, and that was not getting ball four because yep. that fusion eventually turned around and bit him, as I knew it would. Visiting never went anywhere. But that's because he wasn't walking in. If he had gotten ball four, he would not have been afraid to walk in. He would not have felt like he was backed into a corner, giving him a yep. free one-up card hand advantage. I believe that he should have walked in with the hand on his previous turn. If he had gotten ball four and if he had walked in the previous turn, I do believe that this match would have turned out in his favor. Yeah, completely agree. That ball four would have changed a lot of things in his favor. But, uh, you know, that's where the, the it's, it's the small nuances to where uh, he took a risk. He took a risk to decide he wanted to gain some advantage uh, instead of setting up for the long mill. And I believe with Namekian, you're right. you got to grab a ball four in that situation with those two setups, destroy him, and go for the long game in that sense because he'd already had a good advantage on him. Of course. And I think he was trying to push a little too hard. So, Unfortunately, most Namekian players, and blue players for that matter, disregard ball four as a spare Dragon Ball. Like, oh, I'll get it if I get it, but I'm not going to necessarily go get it. And I think a lot of players severely underestimate the power of just wiping two key cards off your opponent's side of the field can be. Whenever oh, I play a visit in the past, I'm, gonna, I'm counting on it being there. And then when it's not, I'm like, oh. I have to completely reevaluate everything I was thinking from that point forward. And that can severely change your strategy. Yeah. And think about it, too. Had he destroyed those two and made Tom rejuvenate those in some combats or gotten them back into his deck by some way of doing effects, those could have gotten to his hand, and that, that not only stalls him a turn because he's got to throw them back down again. It's a dead draw. Get, it's a dead draw. So, you know, you live and learn. But uh, all in all, it, it, was, it was an interesting. It's always good to see Namekian versus Namekian. It's very interesting. I agree. It was a, it was a well-played match. I just would have played those two moves differently on Steven's part. Yes, exactly, exactly. But uh, yeah, dude, really, thanks for joining me. This is uh, this is very enjoyable. We're we're going to be doing more of these because I think the commentary actually kind of helps people understand plays and what they're doing. And Morgan, of course, is you know uh, always wise and uh, good to speak to. So we'll we'll, we'll you, be doing more of this. You you speak too many lies, sir. I appreciate I, I, you inflating inflating my ego. <laughs> I will speak all the lies, David. I will. So. Uh, <laughs> Join us next time for some uh, more uh, sexy Dragon Ball commentary. All right, thank you. See you.